Human, I am saddened by how weak your race's mental capabilities are, Rock said as he sat down in the seat opposite him. Who starts a conversation like that? Jack replied, looking up from his lunch at his Quixnos colleague. It is the truth, though, and in truth there is beauty. I think you are underestimating how powerful the human mind truly is, Jack replied, looking back up at the alien that had three brain cases displaying their multicerebral system. Oh, how so? Hmm. Jack hummed to himself in thought as he tried to recall some of the things humans can do thanks to their minds. I know uniforms. Uniforms? Rox repeated, confused. Yes, it's a little thing we humans have. You know how on some of the planets we've landed on, you saw humans wearing the same clothes? Rox nodded. Well, those are called uniforms, and they denote a job. People who wear them can cause behavioral changes in the humans around them, even if they do not actually have the authority of that position. Human that is merely a plumage display, not a power of the mind. If anything, it speaks to the weakness of your species' mind. I was more thinking of the physiological side of things. Ah, have you ever heard of the placebo effect, then? Rox shook his head to indicate no. It is a fascinating trick we humans can do. You see, if you can convince a person a certain physiological change will occur, their belief can actually make it happen. Surely you jest. No, really. There was one study where people, after an operation, were given painkillers. But some were given placebos. They were given these powers. No, it's also our name for fake medicine. The patients were told it would help relieve the pain. I assume the ones taking the fake medicine suffered more. No, they reported feeling reduced pain. To bring it back to my first point, one version of the study had a robot provide the medicine and another a human wearing a doctor's uniform. The one who took it from the human reported far more reduced pain than the robot. Interesting, though these only occur due to outside influence. Well, there is an odd condition where a person is so convinced they are pregnant that they show all the signs despite not being pregnant. Interesting, yes. I will concede that much. But where is the practical use, say, in an emergency? Can this placebo effect grant great powers in time of need? No, Jack replied, shaking his head. For that, we have something called hysterical strength. You have a name for a power that you gain through your mind. Well, to be fair, it's more our mind letting go of control. You see these, Jack said, flexing his arm to show off what little muscle a desk jockey like him had. These muscles are exceedingly strong, like ridiculously strong. But our bodies can't actually handle their full strength, so our brains put a limiter on them. Your own singular brain limits your body, Rox asked, confused. Part of his species' nature was developing multiple brains to handle more of their body's inputs. Yes, but in times of extreme stress. The famous example is a woman seeing their child crushed under a great weight. In this emergency, the brain recognizes the need to lift the limiter, and even a small human can lift several tons. Several tons? Yes. Of course, it'll shatter our bones and tear our ligaments. But that's just humanity for you. We will sacrifice ourselves to save those we care for. I see. And all humans can do this. Well, it is an exceptional circumstance. But we all have the potential. You remember when Mickey was electrocuted and launched across the hangar? Rox nodded. That was the electricity activating all his muscles and launching him. That is what we could do if we could endure it. Well, now your race just feels scary. No wonder why you became the third dominant species after cats and dogs. Wait, what was that about cats and dogs? 